So for me, a lot of how I experience the world is through this exquisite sensitivity in my heart. I really do have a, a sense all the time of how I'm feeling. And feelings for me are sacred and abundant. But they can also be hard and dark and lonely. And there's an incessant sense of longing. Sometimes it's apparent to me and other times it is dormant in me, but it is there and it longs for connection. And what it longs for is an ideal connection with an other or with a belief or philosophy or even just a, an experience, maybe a group. And this distortion because of the shame, remember all heart types are shame types. And shame for me is really about questioning where I belong. Questioning whether or not I'm worthy of belonging. This is what brings up my sense of shame and this is what makes me feel so separate from everything. So this sense of shame for me is that I am not worthy of an authentic connection with the other. Unless you see me as somehow special and different and extraordinary. I want to be extraordinary. I want to be seen as extraordinary. I want to live an extraordinary life. And when I don't, because who does, you know? <laughs> I channel this desire this desire into creative pursuits like writing and theatrics and music and art. So where the rest of you drive home in the evening and you see the sunset and are irritated by the traffic or worried by what you have to do at home, I put on inspirational music and I love, for example, Dancing Queen by ABBA. It's such a happy time. And through this song, I become happy and inspired and joyful and full of life. And so as I watch the sunset, I'm not thinking about the traffic. I'm being inspired to go home and write the most glorious poem on my Instagram with the most exquisite picture which encapsulates the magnificence of my sentient heart because my heart exquisitely taps in, deliciously taps in to that which is special and different and creative and nuanced and divine. It's so divine. And it frustrates me that people don't get it. Because I want it. I feel it. It's hard. And then I feel ashamed that I want it. I feel silly because I feel different. And then I wonder where I belong. And I feel melancholic. And 
in order to counteract that, I introject, which means I take in and I feel deeply and I wash through deeply the sense of what's wrong with me. Why? Why am I flawed? Why am I different? You can hear the sense of self-abandonment. Self-abandonment. This is what you do, fours. If you are a four, this sense of shame that I'm not worthy of belonging and love and support and connection because I'm not perfect, because I'm not exquisite, because I'm not idyllic, because I'm not... Who is? But the four is so self-critical. And that's what gets you into the cave, the shame. No, not now, but I know, I know. And this is when people think that you are emotionally unbalanced. And this just isn't true. You just introject a whole lot of myriad of emotions. It's like the great juggler or perhaps, you know, <laughs> the circus act. This is what happens to force. You get swept up in all the feeling and then it's like, oh my gosh, I've got to create. And it's the birthplace of your great gift. No doubt. This exceptional creativity, this exquisite sensitivity, this ability to notice and dance with your feelings, oh man, and to feel and allow for feelings to be, but not when they trash you. That's the work of the four, to learn, I'm not going to take this personally, I am whole, I am complete, I'm okay, and the only way to do that is to stop the core belief that it's not okay to be too functional or too happy. I don't have to envy anybody. I don't have to believe that it's never gonna work out for me. No, 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 done. Because when I get very oh, needy, I go to two. Love me, love me. I'll show you how to love me. No, that's not nice when you manipulate people into love. What is in the best of you is when you go to one and you can channel all this creativity and this sentience and this exquisiteness into this focused, disciplined human being with a lot to do, a lot to say, and a lot to give. That's the true you. Own that. Own that order, that functionality, the best of one. That sense of duty, your sense of whatever, you know, what I can. Yeah, I'm competent. Because then your creativity can shine and you can be exceptional and extraordinary and special and unique and all the things you want to be as well as functional and productive. Because my goodness... Is that not what the world needs? And we can't wait to see what you've got to bring. <laughs>